Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, we will learn how to make a homemade light bulb out of pencil lead. Let's get started. The plan is to convert the following into a very crude light bulb. I've got some electrical tape, some pencil lead, some alligator clips, some basic wire, 8D batteries, some duct tape, and then a glass container. So let's get started and see if I can convert that into a very basic crude light bulb. First thing I did was cut the wire and as you can see I've attached it to the two alligator clips and these will be used to hold the lid. Next I used some duct tape and just taped the alligator clips and wire to a piece of wood uh, I did this so that um, when I get the lead, I'm going to place this bottle on top of it and it will help uh, with the light. So um, let's go on to our next. Next, I'm going to take a very thin piece of lead, you can maybe barely see it, and attach it uh, between the two alligator clips. And hopefully that is what will be used to produce light. So let's get this done. So I've got it hooked now to my two alligator clips. And now all I need to do is add some electricity. Okay, for power, I went ahead and taped eight um, batteries. And they were D batteries. And uh, you can see what this looks like a little bit. And so I have eight of these. And then I'll um, hook the wires to them and let's see if we can get some light. Okay, so now what I ended up doing was going with five batteries, and look, it works. Turn off, turn on, turn off, it gets, there we go, it gets really bright as one more time. I'm not going to lie, this is pretty cool. It gets really bright, and then it breaks. So, there we go, a homemade light bulb using uh, lead from a pencil. So let's go ahead and look at the science behind this. The pencil lead, in fact it's actually carbon, acts as the filament for the light bulb. Modern light bulbs use tungsten as a filament. As electricity flows through the pencil lead, it conducts electricity, but also begins to heat up, and then it begins to glow. The glass jar helps prevent the lead from fusing or breaking away while the electricity is flowing through it. Modern bulbs are filled with inert gas to help prevent this. This was why the lead kept snapping at the beginning. The jar was not preventing the lead from breaking when it was heating. Early light bulbs put off a lot of heat while they glowed, but modern bulbs barely even get warm. So there you have a homemade light bulb using pencil lead that's in fact is actually carbon thanks for watching and moo moo math uploads a new math and science video every day please subscribe and share